explosive flame walker set. I think that's what it's called. Hey guys, it's it's me again. Um, I'm back and I uh, have the new or the newest Japanese set that I could get, the explosive flame walker set. Um, this is the most recent one. Um, it's it's going to be showcasing some of the new cards in the Sword and Shield set. VMAX Rising, all that stuff. Um, Rebel Clash came out already. I already have a box. And yeah, so let's get right into it. What's funny is I had like an earning or an urge to do this video. So I decided, you know, let's just do it. And why did I not bring a fucking... God damn it. There we go. Okay, cool. All right. So this is the Flame Crasher set, whatever. Anyway, I forgot my scissors, but I just got them now. So let's open this bad boy up. And boom, the display box goes like that. And there are the cards. So, we want these. So there are five cards in each pack, the Japanese sets. That's how they work. Uh, oh, there's another pack in there. I don't want to forget that. But this is what's inside the bag, uh, or in the box. If you want to scan that, you can. I don't know if the... Yeah, the, that will come off the video. If you're from Japan, cool. More props to you if you're a fan of those. More power to you, but um, yeah, I'm doing these because I, I like the Japanese sets. Um, they look cool, and also they add, they're pretty cool to my collection. So uh, that's why I bought these things. All right, I've had, to, I did, what's funny is I have like a vault of other videos that I've done of Japanese sets before. I have not released those. They're in my hard drive, just burning a hole in my damn hard drive. But I don't know if I'll release those or not. But anyway, let's get started. All right, let's get started on the very first pack. All right, and I remember you gotta cut these. Makes life easier. All right, and I think it's one to the front. There we go. Oh, some cool looking guy I have never seen. Like, the thing is, I, there we go. I honestly don't know like a lot of the cards yet in the set. I have not, I know Aaron, I know him. Stupid teacup, um, some weird blossom, and then the chocolate bunny with some corn, I think. I think that's chocolate. I don't know. All right, that's it. All right, first pack. I like the de I like the uh, decor of the back of the card. If my camera ever focuses, holy shit! There we go. Um, and yeah, the the focusing uh, on my camera is really bad. I don't know why. It's a new phone. It's Galaxy S20. It should be flawless. Guess not. Um, but anyway, I like the decorations in the cards, showing all the elementals and the silver borders of the Japanese cards. So, all right, next set of cards. I think I actually cut the card. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, good. All right. Ooh, I see something shiny in the back. It might just be a regular rare. But anyway, uh, some cool Lance, dude. Uh, Whims, Whims, whatever his name is. Um, depressing Fish. I don't know what that guy is either. Uh, Centruf, Centuf. I don't know. And oh, whoa, hold on. This is actually a cool card. Hold up. Hold up. Whoa. It's the octopus from Finding Nemo 2. <laughs> I have no idea what his name is. And the lucky set uh, protector we're going to be using is the Cosmic Eclipse. And there's the uh, double sleeve. There we go. Octopus from Finding Nemo 2. Unlocked. Another pack. Do, do, you know, they should bring back... Uh, I'm a fan favorite of Gen 2 of the, of the games because that was the games that I played. Uh, mostly, I did play Gen 3, but not that much as Gen 2. Um, they should bring back, like, the dogs. Entei, Suicune. I mean, they did kind of did in the last set, I think, in Cosmic Eclipse. And forgive me if I'm wrong, the one after that, which I don't think I did a video on. Sword and Shield. No, I did. Uh, I just haven't released it. Whoops. But uh, I kind of want to uh, see them back in some Silver Bell. I love that Christmas song. Um, but I, I, Suicune's my favorite legendary dog, um, and my favorite starter from that series is Cyndaquil. Uh Triflosion was always the baddest looking one. The final evolution looked so badass, even though he was just like a giant like mole or some shit. Um, I just thought he was really, really cool. Typhlosion was also a badass name, you know. Okay, one to the front. Oh, a fire elemental energy. Oh, that's kind of cool looking. It might be like a supporter card or trainer card, but that's pretty cool. Uh, Mr. Mime, I think like the stupid Galarian version, Mr. Mime. Uh, Doug Trio, uh, some weird clay doll art, and Thick Girl. Thick Plant Girl. All right, nothing in that pack. Sweet. I don't know what the deal is with the autofocusing, but you're just going to have to deal with it. There we go. F 
fuck. All right, one to the front. Oh, okay, it's the Luma Stone or that Moon one, and it's little Sparrow guy, uh, the Tyranitar's first evolution. Um, some weird beetle. And whoa, hold on, V Max Revive. I don't fucking know her name. <laughs> Um, I know the guy the, in Gen 3's character, the um, Wally, his character, he gets that result and then Rosario. No, it's not. It's just somebody else. Yeah, it's Routes. There we go. The evolu the VMAX evolution of Routes. Got it. See? I know some stuff. But hey, VMAX. There we go. <laughs> I didn't expect to pull something like this. That's awesome. All right. Gonna slide that bad girl in there before I get my nasty coronavirus fingers on it. By the way, I hope everyone's doing okay. I know it's kind of late in the quarantine. I know everyone's coming back to work. Um, I hope that you guys are safe. I am safe, if anyone is wondering. Me and my girlfriend have been doing great. Um, just some stuff has been happening and actually forcing me to uh, do the things that I'm, I never didn't want to do. Uh, nothing illegal, but more so of a, I had to stop my YouTube for a bit. I had to focus on some other things. And yeah, that's kind of why. I'm, why the fuck won't this focus? There we go. Oh my God. Okay, there we go. All right. God, it's a stupid camera. But I will promise that I will try to put more videos out. I might even go into my old vault and pull out some old videos. However, the info may be contradicting because I... What the fuck is this? The evolution of Mr. Galarian Mime? Mr. Mime? He becomes like the Joker who owns a circus. What the shit? But like I said, I will try my best to put out more content. Because uh, I really like doing this. I really do. I'm just t tired of shit right now. Um, but I love opening packs. I love the feeling of opening the pack and getting something like we don't like I don't know what it is. And, that, and, then the, and the fact that I'm able to capture that experience. Um, oh, I saw something on here uh, that, you know, on camera and show with you guys and share with you guys. The excitement is something that I enjoy. Um, some fire. Oh, my God. I'm going to do that. Uh, some fire fucking bird thing. Some acid trip bunny. Uh some spore, some weird claymation again. And, oh, we got the regular. We got the regular V card of, I don't know her name, Raltania, what the fuck. But we got her. Okay, so we got um, the regular V, and then we got the VMAX. I think there's a full art, if I, if I could be wrong, if I'm not mistaken. There we go. All right, so yeah, it's a comparison. We got the VMAX. And the V. There you go. Yeah, buddy. All right. I just wish I knew the names of these stupid cards. Like, I'm, I feel really bad that I'm not really into the whole uh, Pokemon scene anymore. I just do the cards. Um, I'm not I'm not a big fan of where the direction they're going in. But, I mean, uh, it's, it's if you like it, any more power to you. Like I said, you know. Uh, stupid whimsy wash. Wishy washy. And uh, regular, the Black Raven Pokemon. Um, I forgot his name. I think he's got some weird dude in the back. If I can focus on that. Yep, there he is. So I fucked up, and I and I paused the recording for a bit because um, I needed to uh, work on some of my autofocusing. I need to see if I can fix it. Uh, my dumbass didn't hit a record, and I opened this damn pack. But honestly, I got nothing out of it. It was absolute shit. So you did not miss anything, I promise. It was an unex, you know, unexcitable freaking pack, so don't worry. I'm sorry that I did that. I'm just trying to figure out the stupid autofocus on this stupid phone, but whatever, you know. It works, it works. I guess it's working right now, so next pack. God, whenever I cut into it, I feel like I'm cutting into the card, and I'm so scared that I'm going to cut, like, a really nice card. All right, uh, Soul. Soul Rock, I think that's the name. I don't know the pigeon's name, that weird beetle Grimer, and some poisonous, uh, I guess, psychic energy drink. All right. That's kind of weird, but all right. I think I might just do that whenever I need to focus. I just hit autofocus or select the focus on the, uh, on the thing I'm trying to show off. It seems to be working. I'll try not to uh, touch the camera too much. Fuck, I think I almost cut the tail card. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, I should be like the most rare card in the freaking set in this damn thing. All right. <clears throat> I know there's like a couple rainbow rares in this set. Um, and I'm just trying to see if we can pull those two. Hey, Butterfree V. 
V, is that it? Yeah, that's it. Okay, Butterfree V. Look at how shiny that is. Oh my god, that's a really good close-up of Butterfree. Uh, a little too close. I mean, shit, it's like the camera's right there in your face. But, alright, okay. Pretty cool, pretty cool card. Um, if I do say so myself. Deserves of a sleeve. And a double sleeve. I need to, re or I need to order more of these, uh... Thick sleeve top loaders because I'm running out. I went. I recently went through my collection and realized I double I double sleeved worthless cards that are like not even worth it. Um, and I actually unsleeved over like I think 55 cards. So, and uh, so now I know what to sleeve and what not to sleeve. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm just probably gonna sleeve double sleeve the full arts, the, the V's and the V maxes, just for the sake of consistency. And also I think it's. Uh, Financially efficient for me. All right, some weird guy, some Raven, some top uh, ride on, or no, 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 no. I'm sorry, the evolve for Anon, whatever his name is, and some old-fashioned computer with. Oh wow, look at that! Look at that! Hold on, it's got the old-school uh, animation stuff on the um, original Game Boy games. So if you have, if you weren't born at that time or played the games, this is how the those little graphics you see. Um, that's the graphics from the original. Pokemon game, like on Pokemon Yellow, Pokemon Blue, Red, um, and even Green. That was only Japanese release, I think, only on the original Game Boy. I remember playing those when I was a kid. Oh, that takes me back. If my freaking phone could stay focused for like a second, it's a good focus. Oh, man, that brings me back. That's a cool card, though. I don't know what it is, but um, but yeah. All right, cool. I'm not going to sleeve it or anything. It just looks cool. Also, some good news. I upgraded my computer. I am now running an i7 instead of an i5. Um, I, I, yeah, everything's pre-built, um, I upgraded the, oh shoot, I think I cut the card, I upgraded the computer myself, took out the motherboard, all that cool stuff, um, don't know if I did it right or not, but apparently it's still working, so I did it right, um, so far, but yeah, running an i7 is so much better for editing, you have no idea, um, I can, um, uh, I can edit things much quicker, and some cool, I don't know what Pokemon this is, but some cool ghost Pokemon, I'm assuming, no, dark, dark Pokemon. Um, all right, pretty cool, pretty cool card. So yeah, editing is a much more of a breeze for me now, and I'm able to uh, actually get up, pop out, complete the projects much faster, more efficient, and um, doing that thing at the very end, I can't think of the word right now, when you're finalizing everything. Um, when you're encoding the video, there it is. When I'm encoding the video now, it takes only like maybe 15, 20 minutes. Before, it took me like a couple hours under the front. Um, but yeah. Oh, Leopold. Um, this guy is this is the character everyone uses in Pokemon Masters uh, against tough, like high level monster, high level Pokemon. Um, it's actually a good game. I I think I've been playing it every other day. And now it's becoming every day since they released Ho Oh, the new uh, event. Although I think that ends tomorrow, if I'm not mistaken. But um, oh, a little ice Colder bear. Um, and a ooh, I haven't seen this Pokemon yet. What is this bad boy? I don't know what his name. What the hell does he evolve from? What is that? What the heck is that? Look at that thing. It's ugly. What the shit? It's like a it's like a magic carp into some Gyarados type shit. Holy shit! That's kind of funny. I can't believe we made another Pokemon like that. It's kind of funny. Oh, but yeah. COVID is finally dying down. Everything's opening back up. I can't wait to go back to the gym. Like, you cannot believe. So, ah, uh, home workouts just doesn't seem to cut it. All right, Sonic Hedgehog and Espeon and Knuckles, Mushrooms. Um, some other Pokemon, the Stupid Teacup, Bird, and that's it. Yeah, some Fungus. Some Glowing Fungus. The fun guy, huh? <laughs> All right, I'll, I won't make any more dumb jokes like that. I'm sorry. All right, next pack. Wait. Uh, don't want to spoil any surprises. All right, the other teacup Pokemon: some shellfish, uh, Snubble, uh, the the one before that little kitty Pokemon that I pulled earlier, and Tyranitar. I know him. Holy crap! Maybe the other guy that I was talking about wasn't Tyranitar's um, baby self. Oh, is the card bent? Holy shit! It is. All right. Also, you haven't noticed Pudge has joined us. From Dota 2 and our Pop Toys. Dwight's glasses are still broken. Just wanted to point that out. It's a lovely gift from my girlfriend. Had a birthday recently, so it was pretty cool. Tranatar. If 
final pro final pull of that pack. I think we're about halfway through. Yeah, these packs aren't that much. There's only five cards a pack. Japanese are kind of weird like that. But I think they had a set before Hidden Fates last year that had actually 10 cards in the pack, but they only had like 10 packs. So it kind of, I guess it evened out. You get more packs in this in these sets, um, but you get five cards per pack. So no code cards, unfortunately. Silver Bells, love that Christmas song. And that guy, uh, oh wait, it was. Okay, I was right. And then Snubble, uh, the Stupid Crow, and Galissapod. Hey, I know some of them. Why the hell are these cards bent? I don't know. That's pissing me off a little bit. Because if I pull a rare or a secret rare and it's bent, I'm going to be really mad. All right. Next pack, boys. I haven't talked about the pack art yet, but I mean, I'll talk about it in the next pack. All right. Soul Rock. I don't know the damn name. Some Fire Pigeon. Scent. That's not the name. Uh, and then the, the Thick Plant Girl. Okay, cool. I keep thinking there's more than five, but I keep saying there's five, and I'm sorry, I'm just being dumb. All right, let's talk about the pack, uh, the pack art for a second. Um, it's got the uh, Tyranitar right here, and then it's got like uh, some weird fire Pokemon. It looks like I want to say it's that bug Pokemon, but I, I could be wrong. And it's got some oh shoot, it's got some Japanese shit in the back. What is that? What do those numbers mean? I don't speak Japanese, so I'm sorry. Anyway, that's what's on the pack. And they're all the same, so fuck. Let's open this pack before I lose my goddamn mind. All right. <clears throat> okay. I don't think there's anything in this pack. I may have cheated. Stupid Umbrella. There we go. Uh, the card cat tri the trio. And oh, 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 whoa, hold on. Oh, wow. I was totally wrong. What the shit? What the shit? Holy fuck. Oh, what the heck? Sorry for my language, but holy shit. Butterfree VMAX has been pulled. Ladies and gentlemen. Lentlemen, gentlemen, we have pulled VMAX. Butterfree. What the heck? This set's kind of being nice because look, we get the Butterfree V, the Butterfree VMAX. Then we get the Butter, the, the, the V Vralty Evolution thing, Wally, and then we got the VMAX Wally. What the shit? That's actually kind of cool. I don't think that's ever happened before for us. Or the odds of that actually happening are pretty low. I don't know. Maybe maybe there's something I don't know. Maybe the cards are set up like that. I don't know. Maybe I could be wrong. So if you guys know, let me know down below if that's a thing for these Japanese sets. I'm really new to these. So yeah, uh, I don't really know if that's how it's supposed to work. But um, that's insane luck if it isn't. If it is, well, fuck. My excitement just died. But if it is, if it isn't, that's, that's pretty gnarly. Um... Pretty awesome. All right. Ah, I'm liking the luck so far. It's like every other pack we get like something cool. Um, uh, scary ass Mr. Mime, the sad, depressing dinosaur, Mr. Mime again, Tyranitar's first evolution, and uh, the evolution of Snubble, the weird bulldog looking dog. Put the damn dog down. Shit. Probably got rabies. All right, next pack. Oh, I'm getting cutting them close, really close to the actual card. All right, uh, the three colorful fungi, the fungi with eyes, some depressed sand crab, uh, diglet, and the crow with the random dude in the back with like some type of what is that? Stupid focusing on this camera sucks. Oh my god, that's even worse. There you go, that's a better image. Look at this fucking dude, he's just chilling on the back of the black crow. What's he carrying? I don't know. I don't freaking know what this Pokemon's name is. Raven? Ravenclaw? Harry Potter? Oh, uh, Harry Potter fans out there. Next shitty pack. All right. Uh, some weird knight, Lance Knight, Meta Knight, um, Polar Bear, Sea sh whatever, Swallow, and the green fungi dude. Sweet. Nothing in that pack. I'm going to feel like we're going to get something in this pack. Watch. If my calculations are correct, which they never are, um, I'm going to predict that this is going to have something nice in the pack. This is going to have a V or a VMAX, or let alone a, just a regular rare. You know, let's let's see. Um, all right. Oh, yeah, so these guys have, um, I don't know what they are, what their names are. I didn't, haven't opened the new set yet, but they apparently have a rainbow rare. Um, if my camera decides to focus, for God's sake. There we go. They have a rainbow rare, so um, you see the little... 
the the sheep and then the little dog do come out in the rainbow rare of the of the set so there's aaron there's that pikachu looking thing and then i hey, look a regular rare of the depressed evolution of the depressed toad he like goes through midlife crisis and becomes like something of kiss i don't fucking know i don't know what the name of that pokemon is let's keep moving there we go all right there we go and all right ooh, some weird the evolution of the polar bear it looks like he kind of gets mad uh wishy-washy depressed again muck some psychedelic shit and no grimer this is muck kind of look the same but don't be deceived one's dumber than the other all right we're about uh, i think let's see one, two, three, four, five. We are six packs away from the finish line. Don't get scared just yet. Bam. Okay. There we go. All right. Stupid teapot. Oh, teacup. Oh, fucking luck that is. And then the stupid Game Boy computer again. All right. Nothing in that pack. So nothing so far. I think the V last of the V Maxes and these we we're gonna pull in those last four. But let's not give up hope. We have five more, including this one. Let's see what we got. Kind of moving a little bit fast here. All right. The stupid psychic drink, if this decides to focus. There we go. The, <laughs> the stupid fish. The weird beetle, and then the bird, and Leopold. I think that's the name, or Grimmer, or whatever the freaking name is. I don't freaking care. I don't know the trainer. I, I know that, I think I'm confusing the trainer with the Pokemon. I could be wrong. Um, I'll put like a little image here of the actual Pokemon with the name and I'll call myself an idiot. Thanks, George. All right, moving up. Okay. Uh, oh, I see something shiny. Um, oh, this is a different Pokemon we haven't seen. Oh, this might be the, no, this is the Fire Flower. Uh, yeah, this is the Fire Flower. Snubble, Anon's Evolution, and oh, this is not what I wanted or expected. A Fire Tarantula? I don't freaking know. All right, cool. Moving on. Three packs left. Cut that bad boy up. Yeah, boy. Um, ooh, something shiny in there. Um, the stupid bunny with the poop in the corn. The stupid cat. The fun guy with the eye. The stupid... Oh, whoa! An electric Pokemon. V-card. Woo! This is pretty cool. I've never seen this Pokemon before. Also, be mind, I've never played Pokemon Sword and Shield, so... I don't know the new Pokemons at all. Throw your fists, rage all you want. I am never going to play that game. All right, that's pretty cool. At least the camera's still actually focusing now, so that's kind of good. Um, but yeah, that's a pretty cool pull, cool pull. Sorry, burped. I'm human too. Back off. All right, second to last pack. Let's see what Mama's been cooking in the last two packs. Oh. Oh, I don't think anything's in here. All right. Uh, so, uh, so if Metapod became emo, this is what would happen. Diglett, stupid seashell, stupid fish. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. A fighting? Is that the... Hold on. Yo, it is. Oh, we... so this is the full art and this is the regular. What the hell? I thought it was an octopus, but turns out it's a fighting Pokemon. Yo, that's actually pretty cool. An octopus that's fighting? You got eight arms, dude. You, you can never lose a fight. Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan are gonna get their asses kicked. Damn, that's pretty cool. I didn't, I really didn't think, I'm stupid. I didn't read that it was a fighting Pokemon. I thought it was a fish Pokemon. The octopus from Finding Nemo 2, the regular V, has been pulled. So, Lego. The final pack, ladies and gentlemen. We're actually at the end. Thank fucking Christ. All right. I don't think anything in special is going to be in this pack because our luck is really bad. Except for that last video I post posted a few months ago. And the final card. A stupid energy. Sweet. All right. That is it to summarize all the cards we pulled. So let's start off with the cool um, fighting octopus. His full art. Um, electric bug thing. Uh, oh, this is the coolest one. The VMAX of the Ralts Final Evolution. Uh, the Ralts Evolution V. Butterfree VMAX with the Butterfree V. So, honestly, the coolest cards, I think, are these two. 
the VMAXs are always going to be the top picks if they are not, if, unless we pull like a secret rainbow rare or something like that. But I, these are my personal top picks, the VMAXs, because they're the coolest ones and probably the more rare ones. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. Hit that like, subscribe if you like the stuff. Um, I'm doing a giveaway of those code cards still. We have to hit 100 subscribers. Um, I will post the all the instructions down below in the description. I'll probably be doing that because it's better than repeating myself 100 times, and I'm getting tired of that because I'm stupid. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, stay cool and stay safe. Seriously. Don't be messing with COVID. It's not cool stuff. Anyway, take it easy, guys.